Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as I promised in my last, I am finally showing you my spring capsule wardrobe. It's finally getting to that time of year, so I thought it was the perfect time to finally share with you everything that I'm kind of going between in my wardrobe that makes up my capsule wardrobe. Now, the reason I say that is because I have mentioned previously, I operate from my full entire closet, so I don't technically speaking only use a capsule wardrobe i do have my entire closet open so if there's ever a day where i need a wool coach that i usually use for winter i can just take it out of my closet and wear that so i don't necessarily lock those things away however the pieces that i usually like to share in these capsule wardrobe videos are those that i kind of feel like i take out the most i wear the most during this time of year so i would consider it my capsule wardrobe or if i was to only operate from a smaller closet or smaller wardrobe these are the pieces I would feature. Now I am filming this video in a very similar style to my autumn capsule wardrobe. That's in the way of obviously because I'm taking things out of my main closet, I can't just show you one blazer because I love blazers. So instead I like to share a variation of pieces so that from each category you can see a different option. That doesn't mean that you personally need, for example, in this video, I have three blazers here and then I have two in front of me. That's because I'm going to share with you different varieties, different styles that you can go for. However, you really only probably need one or two maybe. And that's why there's quite a few more pieces than maybe your typical capsule wardrobe video. But again, that's because I like to follow that style instead because I don't really want to restrict myself with what I can share with you. And also because I want to be able to add as much value as I can in these videos. With that being said, that means that these pieces that you see right now are for the top half and then I will switch it halfway through the video to share with you everything on the bottom half. It's not that much, the top half always accommodates more because I do like things like tops in the springtime, I feel like it is the best part of spring. All these pieces I've probably already styled over on my Instagram and TikTok which as always I will leave on the screen and in the description box of this video and I have also taken some feedback. I think there were a few comments here and there that were referring to tone. I never really mentioned this but because my microphone is so close to me I always take on a very monotone way of talking because I don't want to scare the microphone and spike it when I'm editing so I feel like I then just start talking in a very monotone way. I know for some of you it's obviously not that fun to watch if it is quite monotone so I am working on that and hopefully in this video you can see a difference. So I always appreciate feedback. To me I'm not taking it personally, I'm taking it more as a way to improve the content and make it more fun and valuable for you to watch. But with that being said I do just want to get started because there are such exciting pieces here. Obviously it does follow quite a neutral pattern but you can go ahead and add some colour. It's just not to my preference. Starting off with one of my favourite categories, we're starting on this side, I've got blazers. This first blazer I actually shared in my last video where I actually went into a lot more detail into some, not all, but some of the pieces that I will be sharing in this video. So if you want to know more in depth about some of those favourites that were kind of my best purchase for spring, I would highly recommend checking out that video. But the first thing that I would say to have in your capsule wardrobe is some blazers. That's the overall category here. However, I always like having a beige blazer, in particular a wool blazer. Having something of a more natural fiber on the outside especially always makes you look more premium, especially things like cashmere, wool. Now, obviously we are going into spring, you don't want to overheat, but that's why in this case, I think it's viscose on the inside if I'm not wrong. This one is from Cos. I will leave everything linked in the description box of this video like always, alongside everything like sizing and you will of course be able to see all the try on clips on the screen. I definitely wore this one many many times last year and I just think it's one that's an essential staple really. And then the other blazer I have here is actually black. I do still have the tag not because I'm planning on returning it anymore but because I recently filmed the haul video where I kind of was unsure about this one but I am choosing to keep this blazer. This is a perfect one for spring having a black blazer that you can style with for example a white shirt, blue jeans, things like that. 
it just comes in handy and it's always the basic ones that you can wear the most it's actually pieces like this irregardless of how basic they may appear that form those blocks of whatever outfits you end up forming later on it always starts with pieces like this so again this one is from cos so it looks like cos is doing really well with their blazers this one is obviously more of a recent purchase but clearly i've been enjoying blazers from cos this one in particular is a single breasted blazer which i would highly recommend i do like double breasted blazers and i will share another one in a second but i just feel like a single breasted looks a little bit more casual less dressy and formal and then i never really mentioned these in my capsule wardrobes and to be honest this piece arrived this morning and i cannot get over it i will definitely be sharing it in an upcoming haul on my channel because i love it so much and i probably should have waited until that video to share it but I'm just so excited by it and I think obviously in these capsule wardrobe videos it's very easy sometimes to feel like you're gonna get bored and that's definitely not what you want these are obviously the pieces in my capsule wardrobe even just the fact that the majority of these are neutrals if you're not someone who likes neutrals and you need a bit of color go for it this is more so me sharing with you the categories you can play around with colors and textures and things as you go along but this blazer it's actually sort of like a blazer dress. The reason why I'm actually sharing this is because I feel like it's so important to have statement pieces in your capsule wardrobe so that you don't get bored or for example if you have events, dinners or even things like spring weddings and you're a guest you want to make sure to still have pieces that are really fun especially if you are locking away all of your winter pieces and everything else. I love this piece so much because it really just is epic but it's one that arrived this morning like I said and it already looks good with so many of the pieces that I own which is how I love to shop if you know me and I styled this with a satin maxi skirt which is also in my capsule wardrobe and also it works really well on its own as a dress without anything underneath. I would highly recommend to just have pieces that keep you excited because one of the things that I found is that although I love my basics I started to get into a habit of buying the same pieces but from different stores because they were basics and you have them in your capsule wardrobe and they're really nice but they reached a point where all of my outfits outfit started to look very the same wasn't having fun with it anymore and then I was like okay I have my basics covered now it's time to be thinking about more statement pieces and so again you'll see a close-up of this I will go into more detail in the haul video because this is literally new I have the tag on it from this morning and this one was actually sent to me I requested it from them I will obviously would have mentioned that in the haul either way however with that in mind that might not be your first option for a statement piece and you might still like something a little bit more I guess streamlined simple in a way. This is from Andiata and this is a double breasted blazer. I have the matching trousers for it which are now my favorite cream slash white trousers ever but this blazer in particular looks really nice with even for example this brown top. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself but this brown vest top underneath I did style this over on my Instagram already. I feel like it is the epitome of spring in the French Riviera but I decided not to put it onto the rail because truthfully I don't need to show you 500 blazers but I do want to share with you a little bit more than I need to. Moving on to the next category I kind of went into this a little bit. These are sleeveless turtleneck sweaters. This is actually cashmere and these are from Reformation. I ordered a black one and also a I think this is called Hedgerow the color but it's like a brownish color. I think these are incredibly classic and very timeless. I always find it a little bit hard with these sleeveless tops because I don't want it to look like I don't know if you have the same picture in your head as me but sort of like a gym muscle tee from like 2012. I don't want it to look like that however I do want something that's sleeveless that sits really well on me and I found these to fit me really really well. I got these in a size extra small. Having a piece like this you can wear with just about anything and I feel like having that slight turtleneck just really elevates your outfits and makes you look extremely elegant and put together. Now again you don't specifically need these ones in your capsule wardrobe but anything of the kind I even have like a vest top. I would have featured this in one of my recent haul videos which is from Arquette if you're more into that style. Overall just having sort of like a knitted vest I think you'll really benefit from. Of course this would not be a capsule wardrobe without me sharing some shirts. I already featured one of these in my last video which is my handy dandy H&M Oxford shirt. I did get questions on what size I'm wearing in this which is a size small. However this is just such an incredible piece that has been with me for probably going on four years now. 
now three to four years and I just continue to bring it out and it's pieces like this that you want to have in your closet can be worn in a variety of ways and again this one is from H&M and it's still been with me and it's still in very very good conditions so it very much is also about how you take care of your clothes and next up for the shirts I obviously have a striped shirt now <laughs> I don't know why, but every year I feel like I buy striped shirts, striped vest tops, and I don't really wear them as much as I would think. But this one is an exception because I genuinely think that I just, I really like this one. It's a little bit more minimal with the stripes. It's nothing, you know, nothing too distracting or anything. However, I think it might just be that I'm not massively into stripes. On this case, like I said, it's okay because it's not, I wouldn't say too much. This one is actually from COS, which I recently picked up. So I think it's still available. It has a pocket at the front. I think this one has also that sort of masculine feel to it. I think it's maybe especially how I styled it, but I always do find that I do stop myself from buying too many striped pieces. If I'm not wearing the ones from last year, I'm not buying any new ones. I'm not sure what it is, but not all striped things I get on with. And then another piece that I have is a little bit of color. One could say it's pale blue, and this is from Arquette. I actually picked this one up last year and I've worn it in so many ways. I would say if you're not someone who's into striped shirts have a try with pale blue shirts because I found that with every outfit where I would usually wear a striped shirt I opted for this and it worked just as well and I did size up quite a lot I got it in a euro 40 I wanted to size up a little bit more because this is supposed to be a little bit more fitted and I wanted to wear it as a beach cover-up which I was able to do and then I also wore it as a shirt with black shorts with black trousers white trousers it just proved to be very versatile which I always like with these pieces I think this color in particular from our cat of this shirt has completely sold out but I will of course leave similar alternatives in the description box of the video as well next up is something that I'm actually wearing as well this is a cardigan now I have my top one from Jenny Kane here I'm obviously wearing my black one as you can tell I just love wearing them a lot and it probably looks like I'm wearing like at some sort of uniform in my YouTube videos because I'm always wearing either this black Jenny Kane or my zip my navy blue one from Theory. I think it's because to disguise the microphone, so I always go for the same, but they're also very comfortable pieces. They're both cashmere, both this and the Theory one. But again, this Cooper cardigan is one that I just cannot get over. I think I have mentioned many times, I don't want to bore you with all the fake ads going around. With me wearing this cardigan, please do not fall for them. I don't want to give it too much of my attention. I just want to make sure that you guys stay safe online and don't shop from websites other than the Jenny Kane website for this cardigan. This cardigan cardigan is extremely timeless, extremely casual as well. It's that effortless style that's sometimes a little bit hard to achieve. Because of that cinched in waist, it really does add that element of just put togetherness, but then with it being a cardigan, it adds that effortlessness to the outfit. And with cashmere in mind, I then also have my vest tops. Now that could have been earlier on in this video, but I'm sharing it now anyways. This cashmere one is from Almada Label. I will share a few alternatives. Obviously you don't need to go for cashmere ones and also because there comes a point in spring where we're transitioning into summer this is far too warm to be wearing however I feel like if you want to elevate your outfits again going back to that effortlessness of you would just never expect a vest top to be made of cashmere and then with it being in a neutral color it just looks extremely put together however with that in mind I do have some variations this one you would have seen me wear quite a bit last year and it's from Massimo Duty I do find that they have quite a lot of nice tops for the spring season they have lots of those that have contrast stitching which I will show you in a second and then they have these which to be honest I have almost an identical pair from H&M I think this one is better quality but nonetheless I don't think they sell this one anymore so I might link an alternative from H&M and this is just in a very nice gray color it's sort of that racer back stretchy material vest top I'm sure there's a better description for it but that's the one I will give you and then this one is a heavier weight it's still ribbed and it has that contrast with the cream and the black and I really like this tank top again it's from Massimo Duty however I feel like they have made more of these style I will say however none of them quite compare to the quality of this exact one it just has a lot more weight and it feels a lot more premium and I remember wearing it last year in the south of France with a cream pair of trousers from Reese that's probably still 
one of my favorite outfits for spring. I of course love to repeat my outfit so I'm going to be wearing that definitely many times again this spring. Again some of my recommendations for vest tops would be sort of like your Armada label, Massimo Duty, H&M, Arquette, Cos, they make quite a few. And lastly for the knitwear because I can recognize that there's quite a lot in this video. This is a crew neck jumper. I feel like as much as I love turtleneck and I will still be wearing it in the springtime, I do prefer it in the form of a sleeveless turtleneck so that I don't overheat. However, this is where crew necks really take a place in my life. And this one in particular is from Almada Label. I've shared it before, but you can wear this with a simple pair of white linen trousers, some Aran sandals and call it a day. Or you can have these wrapped around your shoulders and tied at the front. There's so many different ways to style this. And finally, we have, of course, the trench coat, which I think a lot of times people People will expect to be at the very start. This one in particular is actually from the Frankie shop. So there's usually those cuff things that you tie at the sleeve. I just have them in the pocket because many of you will know I don't like the appearance of shiny metal on a lot of clothes. However, this one is belted. I think the only thing I'm not so much a fan of with this one is the metal over here. I just would have preferred it to be just fabric. But I would say with regards to trench coats, there are so many on the market. It can be a little bit overwhelming. The biggest thing you want to look at is the undertone of the color of the trench coat so as you can see this one is a little bit more of that going on to khaki but not quite because to be honest i don't really wear khaki so this one is almost bordering there it's not that sort of highly saturated color i would say that one of my favorite ones that i've tried so far was actually from reese and i tried it in the worth the hype episode and i will probably bring back that series very soon because it was one of my favorites but that one is a really nice one that i can recommend because it is very heavyweight back then i wasn't really into trench coats so i just didn't feel the need to keep that one however if I were to repurchase something it would probably be that but of course a trench coat is a staple in your capsule wardrobe and I would say if you're not really into them maybe a lightweight double wool coat they definitely still come in handy especially in London this time of year for example I love my bimeline Berger coat and I definitely still want to be wearing it especially in London it's the gorgeous cream one that I have which I really really like however with that in mind I also do have a shorter jacket here this one is from Arquette I mentioned it in my last video Video. and it's one that I also have in grey to wear a sort of like a grey monochrome outfit or grey and cream, grey and white, so many different ways to style it. I just really like these, they are great as a layering piece and also to be honest they are much easier to pack. However I think I will have to leave an alternative for this because last I checked they didn't have any stock of this on Arquette's website. And now moving on to the bottom half you can see we have much more of a moderated amount of things and we can start off over on this side again where I have my maxi skirt. Now maxi skirts have very quickly become one of my favorite categories within my entire closet I could say and here I have a different style of maxi skirt. Starting off I have my tailored style which obviously is probably one of my favorites because of my love for tailoring, blazers, suits, things like that. This black one I have is from Theory and I believe it is a wool skirt and it has also a slit at the back. These both actually have a slit at the back which I always find helpful with maxi skirt because I feel like especially Especially column maxi skirts they can very easily become restricting and you can't really move and it's just not comfortable and that's the last thing you want if you are putting together a capsule wardrobe the last thing you want is for it to be super restrictive because you're supposed to have fun with it this is supposed to be the compiled collection of your favorites ever really for that season and so the next pair that I have is from Ray now I have mentioned this before obviously Ray was a matches fashion owned brand so I'm not really sure exactly what's happening with Ray if it's going to continue as its own brand now that Matches Fashion has gone under administration last I checked and so although you may or may not be able to get your hands on this I still wanted to be able to share it in general a cream maxi skirt will do you don't have to get these exact pieces although they will also be linked in the description but I just find these to be so elevated so nice like imagine this black maxi skirt with the reformation sleeveless turtleneck and a black belt I just think or even a dark brown belt and brown accessories and then the next category I think I've mentioned many times before is a cashmere skirt. Now you'll have to mind how I've put this on the hanger. I promise this is not how I store my clothes otherwise it would be completely ruined but this is from Almada Label. You've probably now seen it in the last three videos that I've made because I've just absolutely been loving this piece especially wearing it as a set with the vest top and the jumper that I showed you with the top half. That's pretty much all I have to say about this but I think I've mentioned before obviously if you invest in the quality of the pieces or of the materials used 
it's more likely to look more put together. Now, that's not with everything. And to be honest, if you don't take care of your pieces, if you leave it to get all bubbled up and you don't take care of it, then that's also not gonna look premium. So I think at the top of the line, it's just about taking care of your pieces. Like you saw with the white shirt from H&M, that's one I've had for about four-ish years and it still looks really, really good in my opinion. And then lastly, we have a satin maxi skirt. I actually have a cream pair, which are from H&M and that's the one that I usually share in my videos. However, I haven't shared it here, not because I've stopped wearing it, but because I just wanted to share another one, which is actually available, I think, fingers crossed. These ones are from a brand called Ghost. They had actually been sent to me quite a while ago, probably in the winter time when I couldn't really wear this. And the reason I actually featured this one here today is because that blazer that I showed you from Source Unknown is pretty much a perfect match to this cream shade. It wasn't a complete match to the H&M pair, so that's why I bought these ones down to style with that. But again, pretty much anything like this, I just find that it adds that flowiness back to your outfit, that sense of femininity back to the outfits in many ways. And you can wear this in many different ways. Again, if I were to style it with the Source Unknown blazer, it's very much that put together. Maybe I'm going to an event or having a dinner. In other ways, I can also style this with my gray Massimo Duty tank vest. And although it does look put together because of all of the different color coordinations, it is actually a very relaxed outfit. And with that in mind, it really nicely moves us to the next category, which is satin bias cut trousers. Again, I feel like it's a criminal to actually have them on a hanger like this, but really and truly, this is just for the sake of the video. And again, these are the ones I have from Almada Label. I have not forgotten about all of my other bias cut. It's just that I wanted to condense this down and not show you my entire collection of bias cut trousers. And so yes, these ones are the ones from Almada Label. However, I do love mine from Jenny Kane. I think it was in my last video, actually, I had gotten a comment about which one I would recommend because one of you had bought the Jenny Kane and you didn't want to buy another one which basically is exactly the same. They are only really different in the sense that I would say the Jenny Kane ones are a little bit more matted than this. I just don't feel like they're as reflective as this and also the colour difference is subtle but it's definitely there. I think if I'm not wrong my Jenny Kane ones are a lot more of a cream ivory than this pearl champagne tone. So they are very different, it just depends what you're looking for but to be honest if you're going to style them with the same exact things, the same tops, the same shoes. I would just say stick to the, keeping the Jenny Kane ones. And the next category is another one that I really love. Again, like I had mentioned, I do love my tailored trousers. I'm actually wearing one of those that I have in my spring capsule wardrobe now. These I believe are called the Margot trousers from Reese and I will put a picture up of when I styled them last year. And to be honest, this is something I would wear on sort of a day-to-day -day basis. I way prefer wearing tailored trousers to jeans. I find them way more comfortable and they actually do look probably a bit more put together. However, here I do have three others. The first pair, actually the first two, because I don't want to repeat myself if I've already mentioned this in my last video. First are these grey, you can't see them here, but you will see the try on clip from Fuchsia Shaw, which I have worn in many different ways, including obviously in a very iconic sort of grey monochrome outfit. I think Cos has a really similar pair that I linked in my last video and I will link again. Obviously these ones are not from Cos, but I don't know if they are still available to get. And again, the one I mentioned in my last video, these are my Theory Demetria pants. I'm around five foot six with slightly long legs. I've already mentioned the deal with these trousers. If you have longer legs than mine, you'll probably won't have to worry so much about the shoes that you wear with this. However, with me, I wear sort of like my highest heels in my collection. But if you have shorter legs, you might want to get them tailored. And these are the trousers that I was talking about in my last video. I retracted from bringing in my Reese ones in my last video because I had mentioned that I had a pair arriving that might just be my new favorite pair of ivory sort of trousers. And here they are. And indeed, they are my new favorite pair. Not only new because they are new, but new in the sense that I I've tried so many different ivory trousers looking for the pair that are not just sort of like a translucent shopping bag essentially and I finally found these ones. Now of course it's not absolutely perfect but I think this is the closest it gets to not being able to see through the trousers. Again when I do the try on clip for this I'm going to be right in front of really bright lights so you might see much more than what you would actually see in person. However in person you cannot see a thing through these and I do not just say that. These are from Andiata and and they are in a size 32. I had seen them on a few different people and I was just trying to hunt down these trousers and then I finally found them and it turns out the brand had already reached out so that's why I utilized that opportunity to ask them for it. But these are truly incredible and they look very, very nice. They look extremely well on, they fit extremely well on the waist and the way that 
they go down as a wide leg is just the best fit of trousers I found in a very very long time. These are slightly long on me, I wear them with heels and they're fine but I couldn't really wear these with Iran sandals without them sort of draping on the floor a little bit. Again you can easily get that tailored. I actually like it when they are longer so I personally will not be getting them tailored. And lastly for the bottoms before we go through the accessories which there's not that many, it's just my key essentials, I think there's about five. But these are denim jeans. Now the first two I've already mentioned in my last video. I must say that another pair of straight leg jeans that I have are actually cream, however I haven't featured them in this video but you can kind of get the idea. I'm talking more about the general style of the actual denim jeans. The first pair I have here are from Everlane. Now again both of these are no longer available because I've had them for quite some time, however I will make sure to find something as similar to it as I can. I know for example with the Everlane pair they do still have this way high style, however they no longer have this exact Folsom blue colour. And one of the things I really appreciate about straight leg jeans is that they are a little bit more cropped, well if you go for the more cropped style. I usually like to go for a 27.5 inseam in terms of inches and I find that perfect for me. Again I have quite long legs so go based on your own height and proportion. However I find these to look very very nice again with a blazer, with a white shirt, with a vest top. There's so many ways to style these and in particular these blue ones which again I featured recently I really do like and these ones here are from COS, two of my favourites. And then the very last pair of denim jeans is a different style and these are actually wide legs. Again I'm not sure this colour is available, to be fair I've had these probably for three, three and a half years. These are from Naked Fashion and again I've had them for so long and I still bring them out every spring. I love styling it with my black Jenny Kane Cooper cardigan and it's just a pair that I find very flattering on my leg length. So I always find the most important thing is finding whatever fits you the best. I would say rather than seeing having a capsule wardrobe as sort of this restrictive thing where you have to pick only a certain amount of pieces, see it more as an opportunity where every single piece you can make sure is your favourite cut fit, colour, whatever looks the best on you and that way you're working with a collection of pieces that all look extremely good on you and it's personalised to you and that way when you go and pick up a random item from your capsule wardrobe from the trousers area and then from the top area you'll probably end up with an outfit that you really love. That's just because you're working with pieces that you love. It just forms almost this equation of a piece I love plus a piece I love will probably end up with an outfit I love and you don't have those pieces that you kind of like which can end up happening if you have a larger closet. And then with time, one of the things I've learned to do is to implement that concept and that way of thinking into a wider closet. So although I do have a more extensive collection of pieces, I've made sure to keep to the value of I must love every piece and if I don't it's out. So it will look like I have a lot more pieces but truthfully I know every piece, I know that it fits me and it is one of my favourite pieces which is why it's in there. And lastly moving on to the accessories, I have first my shoes. The first pair of shoes I have here or category wise is my ballet flats. I think ballet flats really do belong in the spring season and if there's ever been a more perfect time to style them it's now. And these ones specifically are my iDay ballet flats in the brown suede. These are some of my favourites especially because they are in this dark brown colour. So you may have actually seen me talking about these recently a lot more. Again as mentioned in the video where I went into more detail on the spring favourites and essentials, these are my Hermes Aran sandals. Now in that video I had shown them in both the gold which is the tan and also noir which is the black. However in this video I decided to cut it down even more and only show you one of them which is the black pair. I think because also these have been my most used out of those two. Again, initially they might take some breaking into, however once you've broken into them they genuinely are the most comfortable. And I have also mentioned that because they are leather they are a little bit more elevated than something like rubber flip-flops let's say. And another thing is I feel like it sort of gives an effect that all of your outfit is a lot more premium. Of course it's important to look at the materials of all the other pieces that you're wearing but based on how I accessorized last year a lot of people thought that my outfits were much more premium premium than they actually were, when I could have easily been wearing H&M and H&M or H&M and Massimo Dutti or maybe it was a little bit more premium but either way accessorising properly meant that it really did have that elevation effect almost with my outfit. And lastly for shoes I have slingback heels.
heels. Now, to be honest, these are kitten heels from Jenny Kane. And I actually have another pair of slingbacks on my list that I'll be going to pick up from Mango. However, I just found that I really like slingbacks, especially for, for example, when I was wearing that dress blazer from Source Unknown. I didn't want to cut off my legs with anything wrapping around my ankles. So instead, I want something that's wrapping around the backside of my foot. And another pair that you would have seen me feature lately is my Massimo Duty slingback heels. Probably could have featured them in this video as well. They are incredible and in dark chocolate brown. And ultimately in this entire video, I have some belts. Now I have a dark brown one here and also a black one, but also another main distinction is that this is thicker and this is a lot thinner. And I do like to have a variety of different belts with regards to the width. Now I do have quite a few, but I didn't want to share them all in this video. This thin one that I get quite a few questions on actually is actually old Karen Millen. I say old Karen Millen, it's only about a year old, but in terms of the fact that it's no longer something you can purchase because it fully sold out and I don't think they intend to bring it back. However, there is one extremely similar from Cos, which I will link. And this is what I like to wear when I'm wearing my cream maxi skirt from Ray. Especially if you don't want something, at the end of the day, belts do break outfits in half or they break it into segments. And sometimes you don't want something that breaks it so obviously, in which case you want to go for a thinner belt. And this dark brown one is from Massimo Duty. You would have seen it in one of my recent hauls as well. And lastly, in this video, I have my brown bags. These are the two that I also shared in my last video. This is the Giorgio Armani La Prima bag in the dark brown in the larger size. And this is the Dragon Diffusion Santa Croquet in the small size. Both bags that even with what I'm wearing right now just happen to work really, really well. Of course, I do have other bags like black bags, but this is quite generalized. And it's just the fact that brown bags have definitely been more of a favorite for me and have had a lot more wear in my collection. So I felt it would only be right to feature them in my capsule wardrobe. Again, obviously I do get wear out of all of my bags or the majority of them because I have access to my entire collection, not just these two. But from that, I decided to show these in this video. And just like that, we've come to the very end of my spring capsule wardrobe. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know any feedback that you may have in the comment section and also any pieces that I may have not shared that you may have in your spring capsule wardrobe. I will say one thing I did not share, which I actually did want to remind myself to say is I didn't feature any shorts and that's actually because I'm looking into getting some Bermuda shorts. I didn't want to share the shorter shorts because I wear them more in the summer and I haven't yet tried any Bermuda shorts. If you have any recommendations of where to get them, specifically the tailored type, let me know in the comment section. And hopefully in this video, the sound has been a lot better and the tone has been better. I've been stepping out of my comfort zone with actually changing the tone in my voice. But again, I don't want to spike the audio. But with that being said, I really do hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you guys very, very soon in my next one.